one year, one month, two weeks of shots. Of vials, I should say, not shots. I'm gonna do something cool with it. I know y'all hear that, but. And the dog barking. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine, I'll wait. I'll wait, not like I've been waiting over a month to make this video, but. Vibes. Hold on. Let me put some socks on. Hey, 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 hey. Treat yourself to some socks. Hey, it's okay. Change those socks, man. Change those socks. They can be washed. Because <laughs> I know y'all got some socks on right now that are what, seven years old. You washed them, you've been wearing them every day for seven, <laughs> for seven years. <laughs> seven years. God damn. I hope not. I was just kidding. But if you really are, please, please go change your socks right now. They like go go get you a new pair or just you know get a get a washed pair you know what I'm saying and just look I'm I used to do it not seven years but I used to I used to just wear socks every day like and just be like and, and you put them socks on your feet you put your feet in some shoes and then you walk around and your feet be sweating just. Change your socks. <laughs> Look, I know it's somebody out there that need to hear that. Because I used to do it, but now I keep like a bunch of pairs of socks. I got a whole drawer with a whole section just for socks. So I could just switch my socks whenever. Socks will change your life. My name is Zion. Pronouns he, him, his, all things masculine. Um, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my one year on T. So if you don't know, I'm a black trans man. Uh, which means I was assigned female at birth, but I live my life as a man because that's who I am. I've been on HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy, for a year, a month, and two weeks. I only know this because I asked Alexa, and you know, she just does so well with numbers that I don't do. I, I, me and math, we not that cool. Like we're acquainted, but uh, we're just not, we're just not that cool. The first thing is physical, obviously. That's what people think about first. Physical is not the most important, but at the same time, a lot of people consider that first because obviously that's something that is going to change. It's not the most important thing that you need to consider when considering transitioning and starting hormone replacement therapy. It's not. You should not think about that first. I think people get caught up in, oh, like, you know, I need to look a certain way for it to present a certain way, but to, to be seen a certain way. But it's like, you gotta be okay with how you look before anything. That's just how it is because it's not gonna change that much about yourself. You're gonna like look different in certain aspects, but you're still gonna have like the foundation. Like I feel like I still look the same. Like I just have facial hair and my but my face structure is a little different. And like before I had locks and my hair is shorter now. But that's not due to the testosterone, that's due to scissors. But for me, like the face is one of the things that I noticed first is like bone structure. Um, I did notice like my face getting a little more, I've already had like, a, like sharp features but they just kind of got sharper like my bone structure looked a little different officially it took me a while to notice not not, not a while to notice because i definitely was fixated on it <laughs> like most of us trans guys are um but yeah like i noticed it a little bit but like the growth that i had like six months eight months that i thought was like phenomenal is nothing compared to the fact that i kind of have a beard coming in now like i pretty much have a beard now but uh like some aspects you know still coming in in certain areas mm -hmm. I try to take care of it too, you know what I'm saying? Like comb it, brush it. I put, um, I'll show you what I use. It's No More Itch and it's grow spray. And I pretty much use it like, I don't use it every day, but I mix it with um, like shea butter, tea tree oil. It's pretty good. Like I spray it into my hands, I rub it on my face. Um, and then I use a derma roller sometimes. I used to use a derma roller like every week or every other, or yeah, every week I used to use it, but I just stopped because uh, I just be forgetting like I'm like like life be doing this and then there's these things that you have to do and it's just I'll be forgetting but in another big part of like growing your facial hair is to not miss your shots like you got to be on top of your shots you got to make sure that you are not missing your weeks you know what I'm saying you're getting your correct dosage and all that stuff like that like that's a big part that I didn't even really consider me personally I haven't missed any shots uh, even like when I was going into surgery I either I took my shot early or I think I, yeah, I took it like the day before my surgery to make sure, or like two days before my surgery to make sure that I didn't like not take my shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you are on like a regimen. You are on a medic, like a medical regimen. 
and you can't miss your shots. And I know sometimes stuff happens, you know, insurance happens, you know what I'm saying? It, sometimes it's just not easy. I know how it is. So as much as you possibly can, try to be on top of your routine of taking your shot every week on time. And on time, meaning just on the day that you take it. You know what I'm saying? If you miss a day by one day, just take the next day. And then the next week, take it on that same day. Don't go back to your, your old uh, shot day. Because once you change it, you, you once your shot day changes, you need to change that for every week. Because you need to be taking it every seven days rather than six days. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or eight days. Stuff like that. So be on top of your shots if you want to really like see your changes come through another big thing i'm very much prone to acne now like before i always had clear skin like like almost it would not fail that most people like will see my face and comment on my like my skin and how clear it is and it's not like that you know it's not that bad but it is definitely not as clear as it used to be i have to be on top of washing my face i'm gonna show you something that has helped me a lot it really clears your skin up it really cleans your pores and all that good stuff but let me go get it for you stuff so this is nice silo i'm gonna put the link in the description check it out get your skin clear because this it works wonders like you can see my skin I had I had a pimple like right here. It's kind of going away already, and that was like it was there like two days ago. And then my my forehead is really prone because you know sweat and all that stuff really cakes up on your skin. But this is a really good cleanser. Next, like I said with facial hair, pretty much everywhere, more hair, you know, more hair here, more hair here, more hair everywhere. Not necessarily on my my top of my head. <laughs> Not nah, my, my hair is coming in more after i've cut it like if you see this what my hair used to look like and it's what it looks like now um, texture wise i do have to pay more attention to my hair and moisturize it more because my hair does get drier and i noticed that a lot of guys were saying that they notice a difference in their like not in their hair texture but maybe the porosity of their hair like how how much moisture their hair takes and stuff like that next physical change obviously my voice and for the first time i shot i gave myself my shot myself that's what we got so far. Look at the beer coming in, you know what I'm saying? We getting there, we getting there. This is my boys one year, one month, and two weeks on T. Next is social. After a year and some change, I definitely pass more. I get misgendered way less. Um, I like when it's weird, obviously, like I, I've seen a lot of guys talk about it, but it's almost like a culture shock. You get treated totally different. It's cool, but at the same time, it's just kind of crazy coming from the other side of the spectrum, you know what I'm saying? Of being treated totally different. Um, but, you know, I'm definitely happier being passing more, happier being able to interact with people without being concerned about being misgendered and stuff like that. Because I love talking to people, love meeting new people, but like that was something that was messing me up like throughout my transition is like you know trusting people to treat me how i want to be treated even when i have to like hurt when i have to go out of my way to correct them i it would just discourage me from even wanting to talk to people i'm just like forget it i'm just keep to myself you know not even worry about it because it's like it gets old <laughs> but you know it's way better now i feel a little more confident you know um as far as dating i haven't gotten back into that i'm getting into it slowly i'm taking my time uh but yeah like i'm single you know what I'm saying? Get at me. <laughs> Gendering, it still bothers me. It still bothers me just as much as it did pre-T, just as much as it did throughout my transition before this one year mark. All that. It still, it, it, it doesn't get me as upset, but it definitely still frustrates me. It definitely still, like, gives me dysphoria. It definitely still bothers me. All right, so, and then the last aspect that I'm going to talk about that has to surround around, like, HRT and everything that's hormone-based is mental. So a lot of people don't really talk about the mental aspect about it. It's really important too because your mentality is gonna change. Like you're, you know, you're just gonna change in, a, in so many different aspects. Like we're really most multifaceted beings. So you have to, like when you go through transition, you're transitioning not only physically, you're doing it socially, you're doing it mentally and like spiritually and a bunch of other ways. So you really have to like talk about all these aspects. So the mental side of it all, one of the biggest changes 
is that I'm like way less depressed. Like when I was preteen and even like a little early in my transition when it came to me the medical side, it was just definitely hard to just do a lot of things. Like I just like it, especially like the daily misgendering, like you know dysphoria, all that kind of stuff. It's just hard to deal with. And like if you are going through that, and people try to minimize it, make it seem like oh like you just do this. Just, it's not easy it's, it's really hard you're dealing with a lot of different aspects of yourself when you're like pre whatever um pre t and if you don't plan on transitioning you just deal with dysphoria on a daily basis like yeah it's just not easy it's not an easy fix you know what i'm saying like so definitely being on hrt like has i wouldn't say cured my depression but has has really helped me with it like it's really helped me cope with it better and really helped me like see things in a better way like being hopeful was one of the, one of the only things that was keeping me like pulled together like okay one day one day i'm gonna be able to you know live the life that i want and that is what was what, what pushed me through so being on hrt like it's been a game changer for my mentality and as far as i, I see things like now i feel like i'm definitely in a space where it's like the possibilities are endless so sometimes that brings me anxiety and sometimes that brings me super like you know joy and inspiration and all that stuff but you know being a human you always gonna have a roller coaster of emotions especially being on hormone replacement therapy because like our hormones rule over our emotions which is why they're so like illogical and all that kind of stuff my self-image is way better like i could say before like i really didn't really have like a, a good self-image i didn't really have a self-image not that not that much now like i kind of you know i see myself you know what i'm saying like i see myself in myself you know a lot of the times i would like pre see i would find people that i think look like me or i think are similar to who i am and i'm like okay i can see myself in this person and a majority of the time those are masculine people and i'm like okay like i can see myself looking like this i can see myself kind of looking like that but like now i'm like okay i see myself like i i have an idea of like what i look like and you know that's one thing i want to get back into is my sense of style because like styling myself like i haven't really styled myself in a really long time and that's something i want to get back into because it's just like that's another way to improve your self-image like what you wear is really important because your style is you you know what i'm saying so it's good to you know express yourself in a way that is yourself so i'm way less sensitive like like i was saying before like misgendering doesn't bother me as much it still bothers me because it's just like i hate when people misgender me it's just like you're misrepresenting who I am and it's annoying but <laughs> at the same time I'm way less sensitive about it like I could brush it off a lot better than I used to be able to like like somebody misgendering me could ruin my day like pre-t but now it's just like I'm gonna just have to brush that off and move it on like oh you had me fucked up and we just gotta keep moving yeah if you haven't seen my previous videos I had top surgery March 9th 2022 so I am like six months, almost seven months post op It's going well. I mean, I'm healing all right. Um, I still have like keloids and stuff like that around my scars, but you know, like I'm, I'm doing what I can with my treatments. Um, my nipples, the color hasn't come back completely yet. So that's one thing that is bothering me, but I'm gonna kind of give it the time that it takes because I know that it takes up to two years for the full pigment to come back. So I'm just taking my time and doing my treatments and using like Aquaphor and uh, doing like, I must, I do I have this massage roller and I use it on my scars as well to just like flatten them and make them less, make them softer and like less uh, prominent and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy with it. I'm glad that I got top surgery, like, and I'm glad I got it when I did because, like, I definitely wanted it, like, in 2021, um, but I'm glad I just kind of let things flow the way they should, and I know it's hard to do that, but, you know, keep working towards your goals of, like, transitioning and keep, like, taking steps towards it, even if that doesn't look like, you know, you going to the doctor and then coming out with your prescription for tea it might not be that way for me it was but it still took a lot leading up to that so just keep working keep like it's a goal so you can't just do it like that you have to like take the time take the steps that it's going to take to get there and you'll get there eventually just believe it you have to believe it if you don't believe it you know it's not and i'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen but it's not gonna get there when you want it to and it might not get there when you want it to but it might get there when you need it to you know what i'm saying so anyway that is all about one year on T, um, one year transitioning medically, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any questions, so I'm gonna do a QA, I'm gonna do a separate QA. Um, if you have any questions, I'm probably give it like, I don't know, I might give it a month or something like that, just for people to like get their questions in and stuff like that. And then 
uh, just drop them below in the comments or you can ask me on my Instagram at get the young one everything is at get the young one uh, even on TikTok if you have questions you could DM me on TikTok you DM me on Instagram you could, uh, drop it in the comments below like if it's more personal and you want to DM me about it just DM me on Instagram um, and I'll get back to you that way um, but yeah that is that is the whole video be sure to like comment and share if you have a buddy or if you know anybody that wants to know more about just just uh, trans folks and trans men and stuff like that just share my video and maybe they could learn something and kind of understand something I I'll be doing videos in the meantime I know I said I'm gonna give it a month for the Q&A um, but in the meantime I'm gonna try my best to put out some content and if you don't see content here you will see it on my gaming channel so if you haven't already subscribe to geo gaming because we out here and i'm also streaming on twitch more at get the young one so check me out i'll be streaming all kinds of games i'm um, recently getting back into the game that i played when i was younger and they made a reiteration of it and i'm obsessed but yeah and if you guys want to donate you can go over to my twitch as well there's a donate button there should be a donate button linked here as well as on my gaming channel you want to support the kid because i really just want to be an artist and a creator full-time and it's not easy but it's gonna take the time it takes, just like with anything in life, even with transitioning, it's gonna take the time it takes. You just gotta be patient. But, you know, gotta put them dreams, gotta, gotta sow them seeds, gotta put the dreams out there so people know what you wanna do in life. Cause the universe just might be listening, which it is always. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Oh, also, if you didn't know, I make music. Go subscribe to my music channel for one. And two, go stream Delivery Boy on all platforms because I put a lot of work in on that, on that, uh, on the EP. And I got more more music on the way, but until then, appreciate what I got out there. Can't stand it. Took the first flight out and we just landed. Huh? Cause I'm spaced out, yeah. Cause I'm spaced out, yeah. We say spaced out, uh.